Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over animation cancelling and the benefits to your deeps, your DPS, when you do it correctly. Okay, so first off, I want to explain what it is. So it's cancelling the animation frames of an attack or a skill with a dash or a character switch. You'll notice that at the end of normal attacks, that your character kind of goes through this lengthy animation before you can do another attack. But if you animation cancel with a dash, for example like that, you can continue your combo string pressure. So here's another example. I'll, I'll do my combo attack and then I'm immediately holding W. But you notice that she doesn't immediately walk forward. You know, she has to finish that animation before she can walk forward. But if I get dash, I get right into my next combo. Same things happens when you switch characters, so... See, it's, it's, it's pretty much seamless. And you can do the same thing with an elemental skill. It completely bypasses the the ending animation of that final attack. And overall it's just much faster if you just want to keep putting putting damage out. So let's take advantage of this animation cancelling to increase our DPS. Especially during long openings like when the Rune Hunters are down for example. That's when you really want to take advantage of animation cancelling to uh, completely optimize your DPS. So there's also a couple of things that I want to note about animation cancelling and that's you shouldn't animation cancel like all the freaking time you know because it is going to drain your stamina if you just animation cancel everything right it's really gonna you're gonna run out of stamina real quick in the middle of a really big fight and sometimes even animation cancelling certain elemental skills don't really give you much benefit so let's go into a little bit more detail and like kind of show you guys more closely how this works. So let's let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to show this off with Shangling. First off, normal combo attacks. She has five hit combo. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And I'm holding W. That's when she can start moving. But you can cancel this. Like I said before, one of three ways. Dashing. And you can also do it with a character switch. And you can also do it with an elemental skill. Notice how much faster that is than just waiting for the animation to end. And see, I'm also like spamming my left click. And you know, she has to wait before doing another combo attack. So that's one way you should definitely be optimizing your normal combo attacks to optimize your DPS. Next one is elemental skills. So this one's a little weird, okay? Some characters benefit from animation canceling their elemental skills, whereas some don't. So let's take Shangling again, for example. So first show you what it's like when you don't animation cancel at all. So... And I'm holding W and that's that's when she can that's when she can walk. And then this is when I'm mashing left click. You know, it's really about the same. And then let's try dash canceling it. You notice that it's way faster. But even though you're dash canceling it, the dash itself also has frames and you know time before you can attack anyway. So the increase really isn't that great to your DPS. It's probably a little bit better, but not by much. Let's take the main character and just do the skill and mash the left click. See when we can attack. So we can't even attack until the ability like lands on the floor, right? So now let's try dash canceling it. That's way faster. And you can even get an attack out before the, the ability lands on the floor. So yeah, that's definitely a little bit faster. That's a good character to do animation canceling for. 
And then there's Barbara. She is like a really weird case for some reason. Um, so I'll use her E and then I'm going to uh, spam my left click, okay? So she goes through such a lengthy animation, she can't do an attack until she does that little twirl. It it's it's a really long, long animation. So Barbara 100 percent benefits from animation canceling. So with Barbara, we can't do our normal attacks after the E, but she can move faster. She can move earlier, I should say. She can move earlier than attack for some reason. So let me let me just show you that. So I'm going to use my ability and then I'm going to hold W. So you notice she didn't do the twirl this time, but she can move. So with Barbara, it's a really weird case. Okay, now I'll show you a dash cancel with Barbara's E and you'll notice that it's way, way, way faster. Look at that. It's just like instant. Just like way, 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 way faster than all the other characters dash canceling. So basically, you know, you're going to have to experiment with your characters to see when they can act after they use their elemental skill because it seems like every character is a little different. It's not all the same. The one thing that is constant between all the characters is that you can't switch when you use your elemental skill. See that I was mashing um, character switch and I got the prompt that says cannot switch character now. So you can't animation cancel your elemental skills with a character switch, unfortunately. And so that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this video today. I hope it helped you. I hope you maybe learned something new. Maybe you already knew about animation canceling, but maybe there was something in there that you didn't know before. If it helped you, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know which characters do benefit from animation canceling, especially their elemental skills. And uh, if you want, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel if you want, and I will see you guys in the next video.